Bonjour. Ciao. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and we are talking about lichen sclerosis. The topic of today's video is why actually steroids cause atrophy. There are people who use steroids in case of lichen sclerosis and they are pretty much content with it because they have skin thickening. Skin thickening, not thinning. Unfortunately, a lot of doctors use the same scheme of treatment in cases of skin thickening and skin thickening caused by lichen sclerosis in order to alleviate the symptoms of the disease, which in patients with skin atrophy of any sex and age causes a lot of suffering and also burns. Interesting that lots of leaflets, as we found out recently, disinform you about steroids side effects. It is an absolute disaster that among modern doctors, a lot of them believe that steroids, if applied correctly, won't cause you any side effects, which is a total bullshit. Because there are a lot of researchers as old as from the 90s that expose steroids side effects, in particular skin atrophy. And if you think that minus and minus gets you a plus, no it won't. If you apply a thing that causes skin atrophy on your already atrophic skin, it won't be a pineapple apple pen. It will be a burn. In terms of our scientific videos, it's time to tell you about the mechanism why actually steroids cause skin atrophy. So during the last couple of decades, the scientists were researching the effects of steroids and glucocosteroids and now it's more clear that skin atrophy that is caused by steroids or glucocosteroids appears because of the decrease of collagen synthesis. Since collagen is the most important protein that holds the skin cells together, the slowing or stopping of its producing leads to skin atrophy. Now, please bear with a bit of terminology here because we have to understand the mechanism. So, topical steroids cause the synthesis of lipocortin, which stops one important enzyme, phospholipase A2. This phospholipase A2 affects the membrane of phospholipids in skin cells, which causes the release of arachidonic acid, and this leads to inflammation. So basically, stop of the production of phospholipase A2 results in decreasing of inflammation, which steroids do perfectly well. But also, steroids do some other things which lead to skin atrophy, and let's dive into pathogenesis of this. The first thing that steroids do is stopping the keratinocyte from spreading throughout the body. The second thing that steroids do, they restrain collagen 1 and 3 from synthesizing in the skin. The third thing that leads to skin atrophy due to steroid application is the blockage of fibroblasts and hyaluronium-3 enzyme, which results in reduction of hyaluronic acid that is producing by your organism naturally and as a result leads to dermal atrophy. I will link this information down below so that you can see the original source of information I use for yourself and make sure that it's scientific enough. So the tensile strength or torgor and elasticity of the skin significantly and I would say dramatically decreases after using steroids especially for a long period of time, because of the reduction of development of some proteins in fibroblasts that are called YCM proteins. YCM proteins include collagens and elastin. Collagens, as we know, are the most important proteins for the skin, and actually they hold in themselves 70% of skin weight. You can imagine when the collagen stops producing, the weight of your skin decreases as well. Let me sum this up. Steroids stop collagens from producing. Also, they stop 
keratinocyte, which is very important for our skin elasticity. Also, the damage the fibers of the skin. That was about steroids in a few words. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Please subscribe and hit the bell button below the video to see the new episodes from me. Please stay safe and see you in the next episode. Au revoir!